Alright guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of Geordie's Beer Reviews. Today we have Pilsner Urquell, the original Pilsner. Brooding Pilsen, sick. The original Pilsner. Beer, 500ml bottle. 4.4% alcohol. Just read the back for you guys. Beer pasteurised, brewed and bottled in Pitsen by Pitsinsky. Kras Druj in Czech Republic, imported by Asahi UK Limited. Ingredients Water, barley malt, hops, barley. And yep, yeah. there you go, guys. Bottle 500 ml one. Oh, in 1842, the Sitsons Brewery of Pinsen brewed the world's first golden pilsner and never stopped. We make it in the same way, in the same place, with 100% of our, our ingredients from the same farming regions in Czech, as always. Cool man, 1842. Bottle cap, this is the bottle cap, there you go. Pretty cool bottle. May I say, pretty cool bottle. Sure, the last time I had this though it was in a green bottle, but I'm not sure. But it's a brown bottle with a red um, wax stamp, I'm sure that's called. I'm sure he used to put it on letter, letters in olden days or something. Not really sure, but looks cool anyway. It looks pretty cool. Right, let's get on with the opening of this. Let's crack it open if I can find the opener. Sake. Trust me, forget the bolt now. Let's crack the gat open. There we go. Put it into a glass. Oh shit, it's going to explode. It's going to explode. Easy fella. Well, we kind of exploded there. But, oh, good. Can you smell kind of grassy? Can I smell off that already? Don't worry, I'll clean that up in a minute. See, it happens. Oh, needed this beer. First beer of the day. Uh, decided, wanted a beer. And I might as well do a review on something. I've had this before and I was like, you know what? I'll get a review. Because it's a good beer to try. It's a good beer. Um, I was sitting working in the garden and it's pretty hot. And doing housework all day as well. So, fuck it. A well deserved beer. Well deserved beer. Ooh, that's the best place to put it there. So, pretty see through appearance, pretty clear, golden, well carbonated beer. White fluffy head. Aroma. Yeah, it smells a little bit kind of in the grassy side to me. Bit of malt, kind of sweet, kind of malt, kind of smell. It's got that kind of like skunkiness smell that a Heineken does. Yeah. It's basically yeah, all I can pick up in the aroma, guys. Let's go with the taste, guys. Is that in focus? Is that in view? I'm going to get a better setup for Reed's videos, by the way. So, don't worry. Cheers to everybody for watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Pilsner Rockwell. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of... That's, that's brilliant. 
it's white bodied crisp. You get a kind of malty kind of taste there, and tiny bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit hoppy actually, tiny bit hoppy. It's not overpowered or anything, but it's a tiny bit hoppy. I have had this before and I enjoyed it very much, man. Uh, not had it in a while, obviously, but I wanted to review it and I wanted, I, I, I kind of felt like one. Because it's a good beer, eh? It's a nice beer. It's enjoyable. The drinkability is pretty high, and I'd say as well. White body, crisp. There is hops there, but it's like, right at the end you get it. Kind of hoppy, kind of slightly bit honest you get it on the end there, or aftertaste, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good. And it's this guy is 4.4%, .4%, so, I mean, that's all right. That's good. When they stop me for drinking, 4.4% is fine for, for me and quite a lot of people. Uh, pretty sessionable. Pretty sessionable beer. Could definitely chuck a few of these back. At it being 440ml. It's very smooth, very crisp, refreshing. Um, goes down like. The drinkability is pretty high on it, like. It's pretty drinkable. <laughs> and it's pretty, it's a pretty cool, if, if you're one of the guys who likes to, who drinks for the bottle, I sometimes drink for the bottle still, or can, still do it. But I do prefer it, I do prefer it, I do prefer it in a glass. I do prefer it in a glass. Um, but if you're drinking, it looks pretty cool, eh? I love the bottle. I would definitely be seen drinking that in a club slash bar if they had the bottles in you or, or, and, and you could drink for the bottles in the place then I would definitely be having a few of these. 4.4% as well. Perfect. Perfect. Um, pretty session, perfect for a perfect sessionable pills now. Got no issue with that beer at all guys. Pretty good. Pretty good. And it's all and it's 1842. And apparently this is the original Pilsner. Um awesome. I'll do another wee kind of overall kind of thing for you guys. I'll go on with the smell again and the taste again and then tell you my score out of ten. Absolutely brilliant. Still not picking that much in the aroma. Still not picking that much in the aroma, to be honest with you. Kind of gr slight grassiest kind of uh, sweet malt smell, but it's very faint. One more taste and then I'll give you guys the uh, overall score. Perfect. So yeah, when you first dive in, you're, you're getting this. It's quite hoppy, pretty hoppy, bitterness on the end there. As soon as you swallow, you can taste that in your tongue. Sweet, hoppy, bitterness, quite nice. It's pretty smooth too. When you first dive in, you're getting a kind of sweet, maltyish kind of taste, kind of grassy kind of taste. Tastes still a tiny bit what, skunky in a way. I mean that as in like if you ever try a Heineken, you get a kind of kind of bitterness, you kind of taste that's kind of skunky. It's, it's weird to explain, but you'll know what I mean. If, you'll know what I mean. Uh, but there is a bitterness there, and there's a skunkiness as well. Tiny bit of skunkiness, tiny bit of bitterness. <laughs> but it doesn't offend the beer in any way. Perfect. Have I got any issue with this beer? Uh-uh. 
not at all. The bottle's the bottle's beautiful. I think the bottle's pretty fucking cool. Beer. Beer's pure. The beer's fine as it is as well. Right guys, I'll give this game a final score out of ten. Cheers. I was pretty hoppy now that I try it again actually. It's kind of hoppy, grassy, kind of sweet with bitter. Sweet malty kind of beer. Smooth, crisp, refreshing. Grab one of these out of the freezer, get it in a glass. Perfect. After you've been working all day, or like you've been exercising all day, you've been at cycling all day or something, or at the gym, and you want to come back and have a nice cold one, I would say that is perfect. Absolutely perfect, because it's, it's only 4.4%. Well, it's stronger than quite a few other kind of beers out there, but 4.4% is pretty good. It's you got a cold one, it'll refresh you. Definitely refresh you. Quench your first. It's, it's, it's top notch. It's a top tier beer, in my opinion. Right, I'm going to get my score, guys. Have another wee drink of this. I think I'm going to give that guy uh What am I going to give this? What am I going to rate this? <sighs> hmm. I will give this, if you taste the beer, what it is, it's the look of the beer, all of this overall, and my personal opinion on it too. I will give Pilsner a quail. Uh, I think I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, guys. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. Mm, yeah, I want to get a 9.5 just because of the, the way we'll hear this. It's, it's so cool. I'll get a 9, I'll get a 9 out of 10, a 9, what is it, 9.5, do you know what, can I cheat here, I'll give it a 9.3 out of 10, alright, <laughs> I know that might sound a bit fucking funny, but that, I, I, so it's a, it's a score that I can come up with in my head, I want to get a 9, but I think it deserves a bit more than a 9, but I don't want to get a 9, wait, it's my personal preference, isn't it? All right then, 9.5 out of 10 from Jordy's Beer Reviews. <laughs> I've made up my mind. 9.5 out of 10 for Bill's Not Up Well and from Sick Public. So, 9 out of 10 from Jordy's Beer Review, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. There's plenty more beer reviews coming out soon, so stay tuned. If you like what you see, give me a wee subscribe. Uh, give me a like. Give me a comment, tell me what you think of this, or give me a comment saying whatever. I'll read them all, I'll, rep I'll reply to them all. Uh, that was Pills and Quill, Jordy's Beer Reviews, guys. Thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Bye!